All right, so this is our gimlet sled. Uh, I'm going to take off the air shroud. The air shroud, the air shroud takes the air is, is is flowing from front to back. We got these fans in the back, and the air shroud is going to funnel the air over the CPU. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take that shroud off. Uh, so oxide logo there on the shroud, of course, and then oxide green. Inside we have the this is this is our CPU. This is, this is AMD Milan 7713P. Nice big heatsink on here, which allows these fans to work really efficiently. You can see that it's pretty clean through here. We've got um, inside, uh, we've got our DIMMs. So we've got, we've got 16 DIMMs here, total of a terabyte of memory. Uh, back here, we've got uh, two M.2 devices that we use to boot. So you can see the heat sinks on there. Um, those, can, those also can uh, come out, that's what that looks like. Um, we've got our fan assembly here, um, and I'm gonna, I've already unplugged it, so I'm going to go ahead and, and take off the, uh, the, the take out the fan assembly. So here's our fan assembly. These are these 80 millimeter fans that we talk so much about because they're so quiet. Um, back here we have the IBC. This is the the intermediate bus converter that's converting us from 54 volts on on the the DC bus bar down the 12 volts and feeding into the system. Uh, this is our service processor here. We talk a lot about the service processor. This is what runs Hubris. That's uh, an STM 32H753 uh, that, that runs the operating system there, the, the service processor. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got back here, we've got the NIC. This is a Chelsea NIC um, with the, the, the heat sink there. Uh, and that's directly connected to here. Here is our, uh, our networking coming in here. A uh, two by 100 gig there. Um, this is a connector. Um, that uh, that allows us to directly connect via PCI to an adjacent switch if one is plugged in and allows this gimlet to, to manage the switch. So there, there are two gimlets in, the, in the, the, the rack that are special because they manage the switch. That's the connection there. We can see that the mechanicals here that allow us to mate in cleanly. We're very mindful about, we don't wanna bend any pins. We're, we're mating into those XMAX connectors um, and this is part of that, that mechanical mating there. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, moving forward here, um, we have the, uh, the shark fins. These are the little risers that take us from PCI to uh, U.2 to NVMe. Um, we've got our, our SSDs out front. Um, these are um, our Western Digital SSDs. Um, the, and what else do we have here? Oh, we've got our, our little, uh, these cute little boards, kind of our little temp sensor boards. So uh, we were very mindful of the thermals of this. Um, so uh, probably over-engineered it from a temp sensing perspective. But each of these little boards got a little temp sensor on here. Allows us to really understand what the temp is moving through here and, and understand if we've got any issues there. These are designed to kind of isolate the, the temp sensors from the underlying PCB. Let's see what else do we have here? Uh, we've got our, um, you know, we, we talk about the, uh, we've got our ignition FPGAs back here. Um, that, that's what does our initial uh, power on network. We talk about this being on two different networks um, in terms of the high speed network and the low speed management network that talks to the service processor. It's actually on three networks because it is also on the, the this initial presence and power on network that we call ignition. Uh, we've also got a, uh, a another a switch here that allows this SP to effectively talk to, to both networks and to talk to, to both of the switches, which we call sidecars. So that, that is a tour of Gimlet. That, that, is your, uh, that is your nickel tour of our Gimlet Compute Select.